in today's episode of Homestead How. Solar, solar, solar. We're trying to go completely off grid on our homestead and we're starting that with the EcoFlow Delta Max portable power station. You see here on the screen powering a gazebo with a TV out in the middle of the woods on our property. We're also going to be using this to completely turn our dog kennel off grid and we're going to create a portable power station on the back of our pickup truck so that we can drive around our 20 acre homestead and have full 110 volt power wherever we need it. This is going to be a really fun episode. Go solar with us in today's episode. Let's get started. Carrie here from Homestead How. Welcome to our Homestead Dog Kennel. This is one of the ways we support our property. We've talked about it before. We've shown you how much money it's made. We'll leave some links to those videos below. We're doing some major upgrades on the dog kennel. Why? Because it's finally filling up and booking up. We have this really cool solar trailer I built a few years ago. I'll leave a link in the description for that video. It's not keeping up. It's not enough power to power this thing with four dogs in there 24 hours a day. We've got lights and we got fans that are running in there and we like to have the lights on at night. So we're doing a major upgrade with this EcoFlow Delta Max portable power station along with some solar panels. We're gonna have it in the truck but we're also going to upgrade our dog kennel so it's fully off grid and this thing is awesome. So this thing is a portable power supply. There's battery in here, there's an inverter, there's a charge controller. Everything that's in our solar trailer, our huge solar trailer, is all built into this little box. So let's go over here and take a closer look and I'll show you what I mean. Let me show you real quick what I mean. Look at all of this stuff. You have the batteries. You have the inverter, you have a big mess. You have right here, this is the solar charge controller. Right now we got 14.4 volts, we got plenty of sun. All of this, the outlet over here, all of that stuff is in that one little box. And believe it or not, that one little box, the Delta Max, is way more power than all of these batteries. Plus I think I have a dead cell in one of those batteries. I got those on an old electric scooter. So we're doing some major upgrades. And along with the Delta Max, we also have solar panels with it. So here on the trailer, we have a 100 watt solar panel and another 100 watt for 200 total. Over there, we have a 400 watt solar panel that will go with our Delta Max and power the whole thing. So we'll never have to recharge the unit. And best of all, it's portable. Later, we have to do some work over here by the goats. We also have to do some rototillering on the front of the property. We'll be able to move this thing around our 20 acre property and use it wherever we need it. A couple other cool features are this has rapid charging. So we're going to charge it with the solar panel, but you can plug it in the house and it'll charge up to 80% in just one hour. You can also expand it by adding on additional batteries to the side here. So it's a really cool unit. You power it on, it shows we have 99 hours and we're at 100% battery right now. You can plug in USBs, you can plug in 120 volts, and there's an app so we can use the app and be able to see, hey, we have 17 hours left at the dog kennel before the battery dies. So this is our EcoFlow 400 watt portable solar panel. I'm really excited to get this out and hooked up to the dog kennel. So these panels are portable and they fold up and we can use them anywhere on the homestead. So we're not gonna permanently attach them to the dog kennel. They have these holes with grommets. So we're gonna have some screws so they just kinda hang here on the wall. So it's kinda dark in here, but this is the EcoFlow box that it came with. Came with all sorts of connectors. Like here's a cool one. You can plug this into the Ecomax and then plug it into a cigarette lighter in your car to recharge it. This is the one I think we're gonna need here. Let's take a closer look. Comes with some nice Velcro. So this, we can plug into here. So this is where you plug it into the wall in your house, or you could plug this in, just like that, and then these clip on to the panels like this. And then this is the negative. Just like that, we have power going into the Ecomax. And then this is the house power. I'm gonna plug this in right now. It should power everything up. And actually, yep, yeah, we well, can just see the lights just came on. So we have the ceiling fan going. We have our, our camera here, which runs on 120 volts. We have a big exhaust fan over there. So right now we're pulling in 100, we're pulling in 200 watts from the panels and we're outputting 52 watts which is really cool. We're actually, all of these lights, the ceiling fan is on, it's all being powered by the solar panels right now. 
and we're producing more power than we need. Completely off grid, no electricity bill ever. Our little solar trailer has held up well, but it's just not strong enough anymore. So we have a beautiful sunny day on our homestead. We already showed you our dog kennel with our 400 watt EcoFlow solar panels. They're portable, they fold out, they come in a case. Well, we also have this 200 watt EcoFlow solar panel, which are also portable, they fold up. So here's the 200 watt model. And unfold like that. When we want to work around the property, this whole system's portable. It's just like having a portable generator. So we've kind of rigged up our truck here with the 200 watt panel. I'm going to have it up here on the bed, just like this. So we're generating electricity while we're working around our 20 acre homestead. We gotta do some work by the goats, we gotta do some work by our front lawn that's torn up. We're gonna rototill her a little bit. We have an electric rototiller, it's 110 volts, it needs power, I have no outlet there, so we'll just pull the truck over there. When we gotta go work by the goats later, we'll pull the truck over there. And all the while, it'll be recharging itself with this, so we have the 200 watt solar panels on the top of the truck. It's gonna constantly recharge us. It's not really needed because this has a full charge and it'll probably last the whole day, but why not keep it topped off? And we have the portable panels for that reason. Then I've got this really cool wire reel here. Holds out 30 feet, so we have electricity anywhere the truck goes. So now this other end of the wire reel is just gonna get plugged in to the Delta Max like that. And then this is just gonna sit in here we have 99 hours and the battery is at 80%. And we now have 120 volts right here, 30 feet off the back of the truck, wherever we want to go. So this is our normal 120 volts we need when we need power on the property. But what's the problem with this? It takes gas. It's a lot heavier than that unit. It's bigger than that unit. And it takes gas. And obviously gas is really expensive right now, but it's also loud. And if you're ever in sort of an off-grid situation or the system ever goes down, you don't want to have a bunch of loud generators running. That thing doesn't make any noise whatsoever. That thing constantly recharges itself with the power from the sun. This, I'll have to keep putting gas back in. And the other thing that's great with that versus this, you can use that indoors. Obviously you cannot use a gas generator indoors or you will die. That you can use indoors and it's completely quiet. So this will be the moment of truth, the first time we're using our little setup portably. So you guys are going to make fun of me for using this little electric thing, but it's got some pretty good power and it's a lot easier to maneuver around. I'm not trying to go too deep here, we've got some tire tracks. I'm just trying to level it out and even it out, kick up a little bit of the dirt and it's doing a pretty good job for that. We got red, we got power. Should we get some work done now? Say something. <laughs> So we're building the goats a little play area, a little fort. Last year we replaced our fence that was made of this wood with steel. So we have a big pile of leftover wood we're recycling for this purpose. And our Delta Max is holding up really well. Earlier in the day, as you saw, we used the rototiller. And now we're using this heavy wattage, high power saw for several hours. We've got phones charging in it and it's been no problem. In fact, it's mostly topped off still because it's such a sunny day and with that solar panel on the top it's just recharging as we're working.
One of the ways we support our homestead is through our Airbnb rental and we're always looking to expand and add new features. That's why we're building this gazebo for our guests to use. We're going to put a picnic table out here and if you watch our channel you'll know we have an outdoor TV lift cabinet from a company that we worked with a while back. And so we're going to set that all up out here in the woods across from our driveway. There's no power out here but with our portable Delta Max We'll be able to set it out here and have full power for lights, the TV, and whatever else our guests need to use. So this is a really amazing upgrade for our Airbnb rental. The Delta Max powers this TV lift cabinet. It's a weatherproof cabinet and the TV lifts up out of the weatherproof cabinet when you turn the power on. We also have some string lights attached to it. And now imagine if we wanted to do this without the Delta Max, we'd either have to run an electrical wire way out here, or we'd have to use a gas generator, which would obviously be too loud for this type of application. So, so overall, we're very happy with this setup. We've been using it for several weeks for several different purposes. And be sure to stay tuned to Homestead How. We will show this some more in the future, like in the dog kennel when it gets really hot in the summer. We're going to try to run a little portable air conditioner we have, and we'll keep you all posted. Thanks a lot for watching, and stay tuned for some of our favorite photos we took on and about our homestead this week.